Hey, what's up? Jason here. Welcome back to another short bubble tutorial. So in the last video that you can find here, I showed how you could create a quick inline editing form just using a simple drop down and then a save button. So for this one, I'm going to show you how to do that, but with data binding. So there's a few extra steps that you need to do in order to set this one up. So the first thing is it's a good idea to have roles set up in your bubble application. So there's a bunch of different ways you can do this. I've got a user table here or a user thing. And for this, I'm just going to use, no, I don't need the tutorial. Although maybe I'll do an option set tutorial. So I want to have user role. And I just want to simply have uh, admin user for right now. So what this is going to do, is it's going to allow me to create something in the UI that says when the user is logged in and they have the admin role, then show this editing option. And then I'm going to tie that to data binding. So that will make sure that only admins can actually edit the data. Okay, so now that I have my option set created for my user roles, I need to actually update my user table to take advantage of that. So I'm going to create a new field. I'm going to call that user role and the type. I want that to be this option set. And this is only going to be one entry. This isn't going to be a list of things. So now I've got that user role and I'm just going to manually go here and I'm going to set my role as the admin. All right. So next I come back to my form here. I've got my input value and I want to enable the auto binding. So I've created my roles and everything. I want to modify the track name field. And this is going to tell me that there's no privacy rules set up. So click on that. It's going to bring you to the privacy section. And this is basically a way for you to create rules for different, uh, different conditions that can see and edit different types of data, use the API, etc. Now to make sure that only the admin person can actually see the edit button and actually change that data, I'm going to define a rule. I'm going to call that admin rules. You can call this whatever you want, doesn't matter. The key is in the condition here. So now you see you've got a bunch of more different options here. I want to make sure that when the current user role is admin, allow auto binding. So bubble will automatically list all of the fields that are in that thing. And I want to just to be able to edit the track name. Now it also adds these default permissions down at the bottom. So you can view all fields, find it in searches, etc. So this is good enough for this demo. Now I'll go back into the design and a cool UI thing that you can do again for this trick is uh, the track name. Let's just say uh, I want to update this. Uh, when the current user role is admin, then I want to change the text to parent group track name and the text edit. So now when I'm in the UI, I'm not logged in right now. So I don't see that. If I go back to my data, go to app data users, if I run this page as that administrator, now I'm going to see that edit button there so I can toggle these. So I'll go back into the editor and then just click on the input box back on the appearance tab. You can see that auto binding is already enabled and that message is gone. So I don't have to do anything else. So I should be able to just go right to this and fix this spelling right here and it's fixed. And that's it. That's a simple way you can use data binding to even save yourself one click. So I hope you enjoyed this. Remember to hit like and subscribe. These tutorials come out every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday.